mean? Yes, a yeah. little bit of excitement. We've got quite the thunderstorm moving over the coast range. It's moving to the north and the west, and you'll see it's at the end of the radar loop here. I'll get right in and zoom in so you can see what's going on. Quite a bit of rain associated with this storm, gusty wind, potentially even some small hail, and it's sitting right over the top of Vernonia. If you're in Klatskanai, you likely hear the thunder not far from you, and then Jewel, it's not far from you either. And all of this, again, is pushing off to the north and to the west toward Astoria. So, Astoria, you might get uh, quite the lightning show within the next half an hour or so. 275 lightning strikes in the last 15 minutes. So, a pretty exciting start to the day out over the coast range. Meantime, around Portland, we've got a few little cells just uh, over southeast Portland and then also over Vancouver, but nothing putting down lightning yet. I'll zoom out a bit so you can see out along the coast we've had scattered showers this morning. And again, that storm pushing toward Astoria. Uh, it looks like it'll wind up between Astoria and then uh, the southwest Washington coastline there. 70 degrees this morning with spotty storms around, as you can see. Potentially a thunderstorm at lunchtime or a shower around. The best chance, the ripest conditions for the storm. Storms is later on this afternoon. We'll top out 84 degrees. That's cooler than yesterday's 99, but it'll still feel warm and sticky out there. 70 in Portland currently. We've got 50s and 60s along the coast. 63 in Madras. Almost 80 this morning in the Dalles. The next six hours, look at how quickly we climb. So 74 by 10 o'clock this morning, up to 76 at 11. And then we're off into the 80s by 1 o'clock. So it'll feel warm out there if you have plans to eat lunch outside. Here's the area of low pressure responsible for the moisture and instability that's streaming into our skies this morning. There's another system off in the Pacific and that arrives tomorrow and that'll bring a renewed th risk or threat of thunderstorms and showers. Want to walk you through rain and cloud forecast. It shows a cell right there moving to the north and the west and that's likely what we're seeing on radar right now. But I have to pause it at three o'clock this afternoon because our most recent model run shows a decent storm pushing right over Portland later on today. I can't guarantee with 100% that this will happen exactly, but I have to mention that conditions will be right for showers and storms this afternoon. And then tomorrow morning, we've got spotty showers around with the heat of the day, potentially some more storms or showers in the afternoon. Thursday, things calming down, so a few sprinkles possible right out of the gate, and then we're drying out toward the afternoon. And Friday looks like a pretty nice day, drier with morning clouds, afternoon sun. Along the coast today, mostly cloudy, chance of a shower or a storm, especially along the north coast this morning. Astoria, your high 66. We'll be in the mid-80s for the I-5 corridor with those storm chances continuing through the afternoon and evening. Not as hot today east of the Cascades, but we still have a chance of thunderstorms, breezy conditions, and hail embedded in any storms that do develop. Storms develop through the gorge and up over Mount Hood with hail and gusty wind, also a possibility there. West side of town, you'll top out in the mid-80s, good 10 to 15 degrees cooler than yesterday. East side, 84 in Gresham and out at PDX. I think we'll top out right around 83 degrees in Salmon Creek today. Your seven day forecast down into the 70s on Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday look like the coolest days of the week. Thunderstorm threat is done by Thursday, though, just a few showers, and then it looks like we're drying out for this weekend and things uh, pretty comfortable. Time for your pet walk forecast. And comfy cruising this morning, temperatures in the <laughs> 60s. Yeah, if you're in the coast range or out along the coast, just to be aware, you might run into a shower or a storm this evening, potentially a stormy stroll. So if you have a dog that doesn't like that or a cat, uh, you might want to get ready to put their earmuffs on. And this is Rufus. Larry sent this picture in of his adorable boy. He looks like a, a black lab, and I think he said he's some kind of a mix, but he mm -hmm. is just adorable. I love his long tongue there. Mm -hmm. He's been hot lately, I it, bet. It has been hot. And I want 